Well, CES is all about the latest and the greatest and what we could eventually see on the assembly line. Last year, Aptera Motors showed off a solar powered car and this year it's set up for production. Joining me now from CES is co-CEO of Aptera Motors, Steve Fambro. Steve, thanks for hanging out this morning. And you all are the maker of North America's first ever solar electric vehicle. It's called an SEV. So how much charge can these vehicles really generate? Well, uh, our vehicle is like an electric vehicle in that you can plug it in like a typical electric vehicle, but most people won't have to do that. You see, they'll just be able to park it in the sun and it'll charge itself up to 40 miles a day, depending on where you live. So Las Vegas is somewhere that gets a lot of sun and uh, that's where we think you'll get some of the best performance. I was going to say, we definitely get a lot of sun here. So you showcased here in Las Vegas last year. We're seeing some of that video now and you already have nearly 50,000 pre-orders for 2026. Talk to me about the journey from the show floor to the assembly line because it's really a CES success story, right? Yes, absolutely. We made so many thousands and thousands of contacts there at CES. Uh, thousands of people were able to see and uh, sit in the vehicle. I think you can see some of that footage on our YouTube channel uh, from last year. Uh, we made some very important business contacts, some strategic partners that we're still working with today. Um, and we're able to really launch and elevate the, the product and the brand on a global scale that we couldn't without the benefit of being at CES. So it was very instrumental in helping us get to where we are. And it's really cool to see these actually being built and possibly on the road in the years to come. And you know, in a world full of EV models, which already have so many benefits, what do SEV models really bring to the market? SEV uh, really brings energy freedom, energy resilience. It takes away the need from having to be tethered to a charger for most people. Most people drive less than 40 miles a day. And so most people will be able to solar charge uh, a lot or all of that. So it's really about freedom, it's about convenience, it's about getting rid of the tether, and it's about walking away from oil altogether. Now, I know you mentioned Las Vegas having a lot of sun and cities that don't have a lot of sun, where are they kind of getting that solar from? You'll get less performance uh, in the northern latitudes for sure, um, but it'll still be meaningful. It might be 15 or 20 miles per day. And for a lot of people that's meaningful. So it might mean they would need to charge their car every three or four weeks instead of every week or every other day. All right, well, let's talk price tag on something like this, especially as we see it kind of hitting the assembly line. Uh, you're looking at around $40,000 for the launch vehicle. Uh, we're launching with one specific configuration, so everybody's getting the same thing to make it easy. Uh, but that's gonna get you about up to 400 miles range, uh, which is extraordinary for a vehicle of that price. There's nothing like it uh, in available. Uh, plus 40 miles, up to 40 miles a day, um, it's designed to charge from the sun. Well, I'm sure there's so much more coming from Aptera Motors. Where can people go to learn more about you guys? You go to aptera.us uh, and they can also go to NASDAQ and uh, check out our stock. Well, you guys made you. such an impact at CES last year. Really excited to see what's coming for Aptera, aptera.us for more. Steve, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and sharing all that's coming for Aptera. Thank you, it was my pleasure.